What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of Attack once again, and I do have to apologize for not coming out with a video yesterday or the day before. We did still do, of course, over seven videos for the week because we had three the day before that, and or two the day before that, and three the day before that. So it's been getting crazy as far as all the crypto news goes. I think you guys have been keeping track of it if you watch my channel. I just wanted to apologize for not getting a ton of content out this week. I had a couple things going on. One, I tried to go to the gym and then I wore myself out on Thursday. So I apologize, I'm gonna to try to figure out how to get that worked into my schedule. As ever since we added the live streaming into Twitch every night, it's gotten a little hectic. You can also check that out at twitch.tv slash son of the tech underscore, go follow me over there so you can come hang out every night and we can chat about the news topics from crypto for the week and so on and so forth. The next thing is uh, yesterday was mama's birthday so we had to go do all the birthday stuff. We still did get a stream in but I didn't get a video out for YouTube. That aside we're going to do Mining Rig Wars episode 25. Super stoked on this one. Hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to stick around and vote with the I up in the corner and let's get started. Welcome back. Starting things out, we have Rig A Purple Rain by Andrew. He's rocking three Zotac GTX 1070 amp editions, a G3930 seller on processor, the Asus HZ270M plus motherboard and four gigs of Kingston memory. Of course, DDR4 here. The power supply is the Corsair RM1000X. He did pose a question to us and maybe you guys can also answer it in the comment section below. Have you ever used an M.2 SSD to PCIe Express four time adapter? Is there any hash rate loss with these? Uh, in my personal experience, the only thing I've used is a like single adapter so it doesn't go to four by one adapters it just goes to one adapter and it works and the hash rate wasn't any lower i actually have a video on how to do it i'll try to link it up here or in the description i don't like getting the poll cluttered up but check it out if you're interested in that in particular there's a video it does work and no hash rate drops so there you go his total hash rate is 1700 solutions a second of course on zcash next we have rig B Liberator by Mark. He's rocking six RX 580 Sapphire Nitros with a single 850 EVGA G2 and a single 650 EVGA G2. And a, he does specify a five inch LCD screen. The most intriguing thing here is the custom vertical frame. Now we've heard a lot of good things about vertical frames, especially the ones from Genesis Mining, just because the way the GPUs are mounted and the reason for this is there's less pull on the bearing. So if you mount a GPU a vertical similar to what is in this rig right here, unless you do a water block, you're going to be having wear on the fans because it's going to be, well, gravity is going to be pulling the bearings down. So in theory, you want to mount it horizontally like this and have the frame vertical. And in that manner, the bearings are all being pulled down uh, with the same force by gravity, thereby reducing the wear on the fans themselves. His total hash rate is 175 mega hash a second. Next we have Rig C by Sam and he repurposed an old gaming rig. This case is a very classic case and it was really, really good for, uh, for water cooling, custom cooling. And he did manage to fit a ton of GPUs in here. The case of course is the Corsair Carbide Air 540. He's rocking a 4790K at stock clocks right now and an MSI X-Power AC Z97 motherboard. You can tell this was a gaming rig. All quality parts here. 8 gigabytes of DDR3 crucial, crucial ballistics and a Corsair 1200 watt power supply. He has a single MSI Radeon RX 480 8 gigabyte armor overclocked edition and a single Asus GeForce GTX 1070 dual 8 gigabyte and then two more gigabyte GeForce GTX 1070 Ti's. I think those are ones that he added on on that back panel. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about airflow here. I know this case is great for airflow. Most of these types of case, or in most cases, this one was 
one of the best as far as like if you were just doing a build but when you start adding a whole bunch of gpus in there i start to question it he does have some risers running back around there i'd like to know about what he's looking at as far as temperatures go the hash rate is 120 mega hash a second i'm assuming you get about 30 mega hash for the rx 480 another 30 for the 1070 and probably 30 more of course for each 1070 ti so i mean we're talking about yeah about 120 mega hash it sounds right you could get a little bit more out of the 1070 with an overclock and a little bit more out of the 1070 ti's but if you're getting throttled by heat, overclocking them might not be the best idea. Next, we have Rig D Gunnar by, well, Gunnar. He's rocking seven Asus dual 1063 gigabyte cards and a single Polite GeForce GTX 1063 gigabyte Storm X edition. He's got the Celeron G3930 and a Corsair CX650M power supply teamed up with a Corsair CX750M power supply he has the kingston 60 gigabyte ssd uh two ikea huttons which so this is the chassis i'm super curious and kind of want to run out to ikea and purchase it because i like the look of it it looks like it's ready for you to go ahead and get ready for mining i do think that the cards are a little close together uh that's going to be my complaint there but that aside he's got the asus z170a motherboard and a HyperX fury black 2133 megahertz ddr4 uh, stick of memory eight risers 24 pin dual power supply extension cable i have a video on how to do that as well i do need to update it to clarify to make sure you split your gpus up properly and so just keep that in mind if you're going to use one of these extensions make sure you're splitting your power across those power supplies properly and not just having like all of them on one it doesn't magically transfer the wattage from one power supply to the next i don't know why that's been coming up but we need to clarify that with some people his hash rate is 2100 solutions a second finally we have crimson miner by crimson mods he's rocking an asus crossblade ranger motherboard with a corsair ax 1200i power supply he is running windows 10. he's got the amd athlon by 4 uh, 860k and that's an interesting one so that combination of that motherboard and that uh that cpu is not seen a lot and that always intrigues me he's got the corsair h1000i power supply two sticks of eight gigabyte totaling in 16 gigabytes of corsair vengeance 120 gigabyte ssd five pcie risers and and four msi rx 588 gigabyte gaming editions and a single sapphire r9 398 gigabyte edition as well that's a nice card an eight gigabyte 390 love it he's getting 1867 solutions a second curious why not on eth of course this is a little bit outdated but eth has proven to be a little bit more profitable with the dip in the market recently and these cards would be of course perfect for it it does look like a repurposed older gaming rig with the particular processor and motherboard combination that he has going on here it is really cool that we can confirm that this motherboard in particular will run up to five cards let us know if you've added a sixth card and if it works in the in the uh in the uh you know the the comments below there you go going back through these i mean that kind of wraps up my opinions on crimson miner i'll try to link or find his social media i'm assuming he does some sort of mods and i'd be curious as to what's going on there obviously on crimson miner you don't need that amount of memory so you could pull one stick out and move it to another miner in the future and as well as you don't really need that corsair h100i and keep a close eye on it because running those 24 7 will eventually go out i've had i think about three corsair h100i's and h115i's go out on me and those weren't even running uh, 24 7 they get clogged there's the flow stops or something just stops working on them and then my my cpu goes way up in temperature so i'm more comfortable uh running an air cooler especially since you're not overclocked on these particular types of rigs mining rigs because you are running it 24 7 and if the water start stops pumping for some reason either there's a clog or the pump goes out you're gonna have those temps go way up real fast and you're gonna damage some components it's just easier to run air on a mining rig 
Now for Gunnar, like I said initially, I think the biggest issue here is the GPUs being so close together. What I would possibly do if you can is move some of the GPUs down on the second portion, the one that doesn't have the actual uh, motherboard installed on it, and then try to spread it out or even turn them the opposite direction because if you, it looks like you would have some more room to go uh, the opposite direction there just do a 90 degree turn and you might actually have more room to spread that out you're just really pinning those two middle cards on each side so close to the outside that they're gonna be you know stretching for air and like I said I think that's probably why the hash rates a little bit lower um, make sure you also just pull the power limit down they're all Nvidia so of course that would be uh, functional crank the memory up crank the core clock down and you could probably, at least on the 1070 Ti's, bump your hash rate up there a little bit more and the 1070. I think that that might help a lot. Now, Rig C for Sam, I really, this is another thermal situation here. I really think that it might be best to just pull everything out of that case. I know the case makes it easier to move, but A, that case is expensive. You could resell it and then possibly, you know, purchase some other solution and then B, uh, you just are cramming so many graphics cards into the case. It is impressive, uh, but I didn't get enough pictures of the, the window and I didn't get enough pictures of the rear and I didn't get any uh, kind of idea of temperatures on these. So that's my biggest concern. Um, and then if you're going to be running this for a little while, I don't know if you have eight gigabytes in two by four or eight gigabytes in a single, but if you do have two by four, just pull one out and uh, prepare that for the next rig that you want to build. Rig B Liberator by Mark. My favorite thing is that he has the GPUs mounted in such a position that will lengthen the lifespan of his fan bearings on the GPUs themselves. It does look like it still needs a little bit of cable management and I would get to work on that. But I'm curious as to where this frame came from or how you built it yourself because it's a good idea. Um, so let us know in the comment section below if you did build it yourself. It does look like it's very compact so it would be good throwing it into you know a mining farm. This is probably the route you would want to go. And like I said, it's just the best way to mount your GPUs at this point in time from the research that's been done so far. And then finally, Purple Rain. I do like the PVC pipe. I did forget to mention that initially. I have a buddy that actually did a couple builds with the PVC pipe. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below so you guys can go check it out. He's actually a coworker, And it does seem to be one of the fastest ways and cheapest ways to get yourself an open air mining frame while still being, you know, very, very functional. And there's different ways you can do it. The, my buddy's is a little bit different than this. It's not quite uh, the same layout or design, but you know, that's what makes all of this kind of equipment and mining rig review stuff fun is that everything can be a little bit different. We already answered this question. I'll remind you guys once again to answer this question in the comment section below. Don't forget to vote up here in the corner, rig A through rig E. Vote for your favorite and we'll get to the winner of these episodes next week. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget that we do have a discord and we are always as helpful as possible. We have lots of good members over there. If you're having issues with any certain algos, any certain operating systems or anything related to mining, or if you're into PC modding for stuff like this, they already turned off. The lights turned off. It looks really cool when the lights are on. Uh, I, I do need to put two uh, RGB LED strips in that. That'll be another video for another time. Whatever. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.